I feel like a dog. Hi, I'm Jen with TerraFlex, and today we're going to run Hell's Revenge, the, one of the most popular trails in Moab. I like guns! We're out here on Hell's Revenge today, the world famous Slick Rock Trail. Roller coaster, slow motion, up and down. Unless you lose your brakes, then it'll be a little faster. With us on our journey are 31 of the world's biggest Jeep fans from the United States of France. Yeah! From one to 10, Hell's Revenge has a rating of six. Yesterday's terrorizing run, I'm ready for a trail with some stink on it. Our trail master is none other than the legendary Dan Mick. Did you see the dinosaur tracks? Mick knows every nook and cranny of the trails surrounding Moab. We stopped right here. What did you want to show us right here? Well, I stopped here to show them the dinosaur tracks that are on the ground. Uh, these dinosaurs walked through here 265 million years ago, give or take a million. That's what we stopped to look. And of course, the very infamous or famous, whichever way you want to call it, lion's back over here behind us. It was made famous by Tina Hasty back in 91 when she lost control of her Chevrolet Blazer. She lost the brakes on the rear of the vehicle, in front of the vehicle, and on she came. Now, not many people know that she came back 12 years later, and in a red Rubicon, she drove to the top with me riding shotgun and back down for a television show done by Mike Rowe. His early show was called Worst Case Scenario. She has come back and conquered the hill. She's my hero. Sand, steep climbs, Hills and drop-offs, Hell's Revenge has it all. Yet what tops it off is the majestic surroundings that make Moab so wonderfully unique. So what do you like about uh, Hell's Revenge? You like it? Yeah. It's like clean four-wheeling. You know, you can traction everywhere, but you can go around the hard obstacles or you can do them, and there's stuff you can break on or tear it up, or you can watch somebody else tear it up. So it's the perfect trail. This is a good trail. A year ago, I did this trail at one o'clock at night. I had me and uh, four other friends. Yeah, it's a great trail. Anybody can slide into hell as you see back there. But to go out, you've got to uh, pay a little penance sometimes. Men aren't men until they prove how manly they are. Nothing proves that more than finding your way into a big hole and finding your way out.
we learn that Dan Mick is in fact a real man. On the wall, pretty hard. But Dennis Wood and Jeep and Joe Thompson have a lot to learn about climbing out of a wet manhole. We'll take a moment and put them in the field of shame. After Dennis and Joe were pulled out of the void by 31 sweaty sunburned French people, we wrapped up this wonderful trail and wonderful day with no more humiliating letdowns. A special thanks to Dan Mick and all of you who joined us for this spectacular run. Most of all, for the 31 French citizens who heard our call and pulled us out. Yeah. 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 Yeah.